Good evening everybody and welcome back to yet another vlog slash tech review. This episode we are testing and reviewing and comparing the Elgato key ring light to my Elgato key lights air and see how the, how it performs alongside. So I'll give you a side by side comparison about, about the two. And without further ado, let's begin with the first thing, the unboxing. Let's see, just cut it open slowly here. Perfect. Now, to film this, I'm using my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let's pop this baby open, shall we? Yeah, now that is beautiful. So it comes with a sort of a multi-mount now and a clamp to clamp it on your desk. I'll show you how well we get to it. And uh, under the, uh, this is uh, the only Elgato light, as I'm aware of, that has these manual dimming buttons. The Elgato Keylight Air, I don't think the Elgato Keylights, the regular ones, have that either. They might, I'm not sure. But this one has, so you can locally dim it instead of use the app. Because this is a Wi-Fi operated light, as it's with my Elgato key lights here and stuff. So you'll need an Elgato control set app, as you can see here. Okay, it's a lot of foam. No, oh, cardboard. It's a lot of cardboard. Bunch of okay. This is what we use in Norway and generally in Europe, except for UK, I think. I'm gonna need that. This is the mount, which we will get to in a minute. Which we will mount our uh, your camera and our phone to. Speaking of which, I you I bought the Elgato multi mount for phones. So you basically just pop this one up, it's spring-loaded, oh god, focus! And uh, you can screw it in through here. Okay, this is the power supply. And here we have the... I was going to say mounting stuff, but that's the wrong term for it. Well, this is the mount, basically. So you simply screw it up and clamp it in your desk. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. And uh, you can buy the Elgato multi-mount, which is basically a socket, I mean a base where you can put that one on and use it as a stand on the floor. So you don't have to use the desk clamp. Here it is, the light itself, as you can see this is the mount and this is the dim buttons for the dimming of the light, this is the rear of it, okay come on focus, there we go, line with the Delegato pattern, they also started making sound foams, I'm aware, so yeah, let's get to the assembly, shall we? Uh, this mount I had to buy separately. Uh, I ordered this and this in November last year and it arrived a week ago. So yeah, it was this part that took us too long to arrive so that's why it arrived very late. And for the purpose of, I'm filming in this in my uh, I'm filming this in my living room so as you can see this is not my normal room where I shoot and record and stream. The reason why is because I want to see how it performs in regular light, you know, daylight and evening light. So you guys can see the difference. And I've also moved Felix into this enclosure temporarily, temporarily. Usually he just free roams the, uh, the living room. And yeah, I've also got my two budgies here with me. They might be making some noise, so now you know where the sounds come from. So yeah, let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, some bolt the power supply first, I guess. So, as you can 
see the notches they're gonna line up with these notches around here so you gotta pop it in so and twist and now it's on perfect Uh, the next procedure might need, I might need two hands for that. Give me a minute. Now, in order to remove this and assemble it to that, to the ring light, there's this small, focus, there's this one, twist it until it comes loose. There we go. Now you're gonna screw this one, this uh, bolt head, screw head in here. And this is also an on and off button. And this is, I'll turn it around so you can see. Okay, this is for our power supply entrance. And this is on, off and reset. So you reset the light here. So you saw, See, the button just pops back up, that's a reset button. This is the on button, it stays on, and this is off, of course. Now, they do get pretty damn hot, though. Even my key light ears get a little hot, because this, uh, this is a reflect reflective light, not a direct light, so to speak. So, and of course, it goes, this clamp goes on the ball, and then you set it up again, the standing mount. I'm gonna need both hands for that one. Right, it is now assembled and if you loosen this or tighten it you can actually move the right light ahead at different angles which is very handy and I plan to use this mostly for vlogging and uh, the day when I get all my PC parts to build my new PC because I'm working on it. I recently bought a new processor but it hasn't arrived yet. I ordered the Ryzen 5 5950X and the Ryzen 9 5950X uh, might arrive in May. I still haven't bought the motherboard, graphics card. I have a 2080 Ti, so I'll be fine for now. Anyway, let's continue. Now, in order to mount this, it's pretty damn easy. Just screw it in on top here. Now this is the mount that comes with the ring light. Uh, this goes on pretty much the same way. Just screw it on top here. And the camera equipment and stuff up here. Or the DSLR and something like that. So it is a ball system. Similar, very similar to, so you can move it around like you can with this mount. So it's very, versatile in angles and stuff so you don't have one static angle and that is of course good all right this is the setup i'll be using for testing this uh, in the video i got my two key light ears here and here and the keyring mount and i'm only using my phone for capturing this and i'm going to use a screen recorder to show you the control center for the elgato ring lights it's pretty damn easy to use and you can also get it on your phone so yeah I will also be testing the same location in night time, so see you then. Now, now I started the recording. So, you'll download the Elgato Control Center app. And here it is. You can get it on your phone too, it looks pretty much identical. And now I'm going to turn on the ring light. Now turn on the ring light and you can see my settings for, for uh, the brightness and stuff. So now we're gonna... Increase the color temperature. Now it's pretty much at maximum, pretty uh, saturated, so to speak. I'm gonna turn, dial it back down so we get more of a white slash bluish light. So you can see the effects in real time. Okay, let's put it on 4200K shall do. And now we're gonna increase the brightness. Okay, now this is pretty damn bright and even slightly hard to look at, uh, at least for my eyes. Oh, god damn it, it's bright. <laughs> so, turning the brightness back down and increasing color temperature. Okay, 
but this is a lot more comfortable to look at, at least for me. And depending on how you want your lighting to be, a slightly whitish light, or you want a warmer sort of light, you increase the color temperature, of course, and decrease the brightness. Now you can experiment back and forth. Now I'm gonna only use my key light airs. Turn that off. Now we got both, both light key light airs on, as you can see. So I'm gonna increase the color temperature of this one. This is the one on the left, left hand side. And now we're increasing, decreasing the brightness. And increasing the color temperature. So now we're at maximum color temperature and lowest possible brightness. And I'm gonna increase the brightness. This is only on the left one, left key light here, by the way. Just like so. Okay, let's turn it back down to about 50%. And let's also bring the other one to about 50%-ish. So now the both are pretty much similar. Now I'm gonna change the brightness on. This is the right hand side one. And I'm increasing the color temperature of the right hand side one. Now I'm gonna decrease the brightness. And now I'm gonna do the same on both. Like so. There. Now they both had pretty much the same settings. Now I would probably prefer to be somewhere okay, slightly lower. Like so. Probably slightly more temperature and slightly lower brightness so that we can look at it up for long periods of time, like streaming for hours. It's gonna be really tough on your eyes. So, right, uh, you can see I brought uh, my little friend here. Oh God. Yoshi is his name. It's a bit of a dragon of mine. I've had him for a few years. So he's gonna be testing the lights too. Don't worry, you won't stay for too long. So this is Yoshi with only the ring light on. I'm going to turn on that and increase the now it's more or less increased brightness. There we go. This is only the ring light by the way. Okay, let's turn that off and use the light key light airs. Okay. Good boy. Uh, where are you going? No, no, no. Where, where the hell do you think you're going? What a rascal. <laughs> I'll see you guys when it's evening. So now I'm using both my key light airs, both hand side, with the settings as you can see on screen. And if I increase the color temperature of this is the right hand side one and the left hand side. This is maximum color temperature of both of them. Gives you a very warm image, so to speak. So I'm gonna increase the brightness, maximum brightness and maximum color temperature. Pretty damn hard to look at at extended periods of time. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna turn off the temperature completely. Like so, half brightness, approximately, for me at least. So now I'm going to turn off the key light airs. I'm going to turn on the ring lights. Now the ring light is on and it's going to turn, I'm going to turn it to maximum brightness. It's pretty damn bright, almost brighter than my key light airs. It feels like it, definitely. This is pretty damn hard for the eyes. Maximum uh, color temperature, turn down the brightness to about 50%. Much better to look at, for me at least, and maximum color temperature. And 
Let's turn the color temperature all the way down, like so. Now it's getting quite white slash bluish. So this is maximum brightness without any color temperature on the ring lights. It's about 50% uh, brightness and 50%-ish color temperature. As you guys can see, you can see the difference in a dark room like this, much easier than can during daylight. But I wanted to show you guys how it looks in the day as well. My final verdict is a primarily streaming, I would definitely prefer the key light here. So I can put one on each side, or one of the, as I use right now, is one in front of me and in my streaming room, and one on the shelf up above me that kind of Low, shines down on my back head and create more of shadows, more contrast, so to speak, if that makes any sense. I'm an expert at this, but that's what I've been using, not for the most part. The, the Elgato ring light is also pretty damn good. It is really good. I could actually use only the ring light. And the ring light is, I, I at least paid about $255 on, from a Norwegian retailer website I primarily used, but you gotta realize we pay a lot of taxes in Norway. I found an one on Amazon for about 200 bucks. I could have bought this instead and saved myself 50 bucks. Yeah, too late now, I guess. Um, so that's it. That is my review of the Elgato ring light and the comparison between the ring light and the Elgato key light airs. Hope you guys found it in some way useful. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you got any feedback, please do let me know. I'm more than appreciative of the feedback. And if you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos, primarily gameplays, and I stream on Twitch regularly, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evening, for the most part. So leave a like, Leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you guys next time as well. So take care and good night.